In this video, I'm going to share with you four trade ideas. If that interests you, then keep on watching. Come to Remora TC to trade like a shark and not get eaten by one. Let's go together to protect and grow our money. So if you've ever looked for trade ideas, you'll know that there's a lot of information out there and it's hard to sift through all the noise to find clarity. For me, I just let the charts do the speaking. So let's get to it. If you are finding value in this content, please hit the like button because it really helps us all school together to protect and grow our money. And be sure to stick to the end to hear a bonus short idea. All right, let's get to it. There are four longs I want to share with you tonight. EEM, GDX, GFI, and STNE. Let's begin with EEM. EEM is a, an emerging market speaker. As you can see from the weekly view, EEM is bouncing off of a long-term trend line support. When I last spoke about EEM, it was on November 30th. And I said in that video, let's see, November 30th is right. right there. Okay, let me start this. All right, start over. When I last did a video, sorry. let's get right to it. So for EEM, the last video that I did was about here on November 21st. It had to do with a suggestion to wait for price to come down to this long-term support. But on that day, I observed a breakout, uh, as you can see here on this descending triangle uh, drawn on the screen. With that breakout, um, price rose um, about 5%. Now, I feel that uh, EEM from a horizontal support standpoint has a lot of uh, strong support here. But over the course of a week, price has broken down to below these three horizontal support lines. With that, I stopped out, took a uh, small, I took some gains with me because I took the trade from here, but I gave back quite a bit from up here. Okay. Uh, so what's the future play here? You know, my original call was for price to remain up above uh, these three trend lines and bounce around to get to the ultimate target of about 41 and a half. Uh, at the moment, I feel that uh, idea is still in play, but we need price to recapture support here. Okay, so for these tr three trend lines, let me kind of make this a little bit easier to read. Uh, I'm looking at you know, let's recover this one first at 38.90, and then we'll go from there. So at the moment, uh, I don't recommend staying in this trade if you're um, if you're going to be doing uh, like a weekly swing. There's some uh, room for it for it to go down to 36.20 down here. All right, that's EEM. Let's go to the next trade. All right, this idea is GDX. I've been reviewing GDX for quite a long time now. You can go back to see my videos. Uh, at the moment, you can see this upward trend line that's drawn here. Uh, price broke down here on the 5th, retested it, and has, to, to me, this is a continual, uh, like a second retest. It's not done. Uh, ultimately, it feels a little bit bearish. Let's look at the RSI. Um, all right, so I'm looking at the trend line here. Uh, let me draw this. So from here to here, uh, price, action, RSI are in uh, agreement. Okay. Um, there's no uh, change in momentum. Okay. So price is going down. Momentum is going down. There's. I would want to see momentum going upward. You know, uh, opposing price movement so that we can see some uh, bullishness to get back into it. So 
uh, my feel is, you know, uh, let's wait. Let's wait for price to come back down to this support area down here. And we'll check the RSI and PPO at that time for bullishness uh, and uh, be prepared for perhaps a long. Okay. So that's the GDX idea. Let's continue. GFI, also a gold play. I've been talking about this one for a while. It's been consolidating uh, just sideways, uh, a lot of sideways action. You know, a few of us took an entry back here in mid November. Uh, it didn't move up all that much. And to be fair, it came back down, hit this horizontal support at 1092 um, recently. Okay. I didn't like the price action, so I got out of it. Uh, close my position when it was about here. Um, so we'll wait. I'm, actually, I think I closed it down here. It wasn't a, a beautiful close. Uh, I was a little bit uh, nervous that price would continue to break down. So I, I got out of it about here at 11. Uh, but it has since uh, moved up a little bit, uh, but not very convincingly. You can see the volume isn't that um, high, right, compared to these other days with the high candles, the, the big green candles. Um, my recommendation is let's wait. Let's just wait to, to see how the price action moves over the next couple of days in a week. Okay, so right now, uh, let's stay kind of uh, on the sidelines. All right, the last long trade to review is STNE. This is a um, Brazilian uh, emerging market play. The video I did on this one was back, um, let's see, it was on uh, December 1st. And in that video, I shared the um, the upper trend line here that has been resistance for a long time. The price has been bouncing off of very consistently. I said, let's wait until price breaks above that and price comes back down to retest and take the long on the retest. Okay. So the video I made was at this time frame. It has since Price has since broken down. You can also see this shorter term trend line here that was support from back in early October till now. But you can see that price has since broken beneath it. So at the moment, I feel we, you know, um, we should allow price to continue to play out. You know, one option for those who are a little bit more um, risk uh you know, have a lower risk tolerance, uh, you can take a long down here, okay, on this support line. This support line goes back all the way to uh, May, okay? It's been strong support since May. So you can wait for an entry there uh, for price to come down there. I think it, it will, right? Um, the momentum on uh, the price action appears to be going in that direction. Uh, what I think it'll do over the next... Uh, day is it'll probably probably um, yeah if it doesn't retest up here then it'll just come come down to the support this would be a good entry long with a near term target of um, twelve up here or what's this eleven eighty three okay uh, it's possible that it will bounce so we'll wait for it to come down okay perhaps take an entry down here. Price will likely come back up, bounce off of this, yeah, before it comes, it goes above this trend line, bounces off of it, continues. So that's kind of the, the play. This might be a good entry. If it comes up here, I'd get out. Let it uh, fight its way through this upper trend line before resuming uh, the long up here. Okay, so let it break through, come back, hit the trend line, or thereabouts, take the long here. All right. That's the the final long trade idea. And now let's switch to the bonus that I have for today. It's uh, Exxon Mobil. This is a short. I covered it a couple of days ago, uh, and it's been it worked out well. Uh, this was one of the trades that I took. Um, I'll kind of show you real quick. Let's see. I got in at uh, 
at this spot, 11, uh, 111, 26. I think I made the video around here. Okay. Um, if you go back, I think it was on 12-3, um, so December 3rd was when I made the video. December 3rd is... Okay, so I made it over the weekend then. So it's somewhere there. I said, hey, it, the setup is there. A lot of bearishness, a lot of um, uh, conviction. And sure enough, price uh, behaved as momentum forecasted. So the question is, uh, have we played out already? Is it done? And I don't think it it has. It's not done. Price isn't done moving down. Let me zoom out to kind of give you my uh, idea. Okay. Uh, so Exxon Mobil, right, has been on a long uh, uptrend. The strong trend lines, I feel, yes, price will come down and bounce off of this one first, right here. Okay. One reaction here, bunch of reactions here. So I think it will hit here and bounce. Okay. But my thought is this if price uh, breaks beneath it with some conviction, I feel the next target is for it to come down to here. So if you're uh, able to play short, uh, enjoy playing short, can uh, do so um, with some decent risk management, then uh, wait for a convincing breakdown. Uh, it'll probably retest, yeah. Just wait for the retest perhaps, and then enjoy the ride down uh, to this spot. So that'll be about... Mm, from here to here, that's about 10%. Okay. And uh, I actually got out of the trade um, yesterday, close of yesterday. So about 7% gain for me. All right. So that's the end of the um, long trade idea. And yeah, that's, uh, that's it for this video. Please subscribe, uh, check out uh, my other videos and share the uh, the link with your friends. Um, good luck with your trading. And just remember, uh, I'm not a financial advisor and I don't play one on YouTube.